Hey everybody, we're back. Like I said, um, just continue right here from where I was because the video is getting a little bit long. I don't want to get too long on my videos because then YouTube takes forever to upload and then if I do have a problem with the uh, video during processing then I have to re-upload it and it takes forever. Um, I've had a couple of them where I uploaded and they uploaded just fine but somewhere along the way they lost part of their image quality or something. So, um, the videos looked like they were recorded in like 480p or maybe even like 240p. They looked horrible. They're all pixelated and stuff. So, half an hour is about perfect. 45 minutes, um, I'll, I'm okay with, but I prefer not to go that long. Oh, there's a guy right there. How do I get up there? Oh, okay. I love how I just take their legs off. Oh wow, dude, I need to start spinning my points when I get them. Okay, so I said I would get this to five. Um... I do use melee quite a bit, so I think I'm going to go to 15 with that. And then I'm going to go for health and endurance. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a guy. There's a blue item there, or purple. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so if I call out the wrong colors, just keep that in mind. Yeah. Lots of different shades. I get kind of confused, so... Uh... Oh, that looked like something I could pick up, but I guess not. Um, nothing in here, huh? So I'm actually red-green colorblind, but where I get really confused is uh, on like LED lights and stuff. If they're red or green or yellow, even a lot of times I can't see the difference. It has to be a very big light for me to see the difference in it, and then I can actually tell. But if it's like a little bitty light, forget it. I can't see it. Devouring Loop. What is that? Critical hits have a 5.75% chance to deal 300% bonus damage. Wow. The Vix Worm is insidious. It will take from you slowly, gradually, then without warning, it will swallow you whole. 5.75% chance to do 300% damage. That's pretty ridiculous. And if you think about it, I mean, you can get your critical chances up there higher, right? And then you have... Um, that on, and you have a chance to do more, then you have the ring that I currently have on, which does the 100% increase in damage or whatever to unsuspecting enemies. And then you have the potential to just one-shot a lot of people. Yeah. 
In theory, anyway. Ooh, a chest. Okay. I was gonna say, like, there's not much up here for as big as this area is. Oh, there's another chest. I missed that one. These chests don't have a lot in them compared to some of the other ones. Alright, so now we can make actual progress. After I checked here real quick. I see something I missed over there. Ah, yep, there's a chest. Okay. Nice. Okay, now we can continue. Kinda see why stamina is used while sprinting, but at the same time I hate that it's used for sprinting. place looks familiar. It's the, it looks like the same area we came out of, but it's not. And a checkpoint, finally. Probably another boss fight here would be my guess. <laughs> Ammo boxes. The ancient span? Yeah. Boss fight. Alrighty. What in the world? Is this the beast they're talking about? Okay, that's uh... Can you shoot those? Yes, you can. Okay, I need a heal. Ouch! What? Oh no, there's two! Oh crap. Oh no, not good. Definitely not good. That does massive damage. Ouch. 
still whole. And I'm corroded. I got it off. Okay, that one's dead, but now I am out of heals. And you can fall off and die. Not cool. Alright, well. I feel like this would be really good. And... Take this off. And put it on here. I got confused. <laughs> Let's see, what level is this at? Plus, plus 8. I could level it up to plus 10. Let's see what it does. Holy crap, don't knock me off! Oh, I got wrecked. That was an aim call.
delay on that I have a really hard time with. Right off the edge. It just pushed me right off. Alright, well, I don't think I'm gonna spend all waste all your time on this boss dying over and over and over and over. So I'm gonna end the recording and I'm gonna go off recording and work on figuring out how to kill it the best way. And then from there, I'll, if I get close, I'll re-record. But for right now, I'm, I, I feel like it's going to be a pretty difficult boss, so. Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.